Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on a mini owl. This log's about four inches across. It's not as small as some of the mushrooms we were carving, but you know what, it's still pretty small. Most people can get a log or a chunk of wood within that four inch size. And uh, you know what, you can make a cool piece of art. So if that's something you're interested in, give the channel a thumbs up, hit subscribe, don't go anywhere. All right guys, so the plan for today is to carve up this owl or something similar. My work never looks the same. It's not always 100% consistent. It's just, it's just not. I don't strive for that. I like to have my work all look different. And so that's, that's what I work toward. But the plan is to carve an owl similar to this and you guys should be able to uh, get the gist of it. Now, the wood I'm carving out of is about four inches across. That's about what this piece was. I've got a camera set up on my saw. I'm using just a, uh, a small saw. You guys could use your MS-170s or a 180 for this. Um, we're running 43 gauge chain. Now, if your saw runs 50 gauge chain, you can't just swap over to 43. It's something that, you know, if you were to do that, you'd have to change the sprocket and your bar and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm telling you this because if you're running 50 gauge chain, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot wider, it's a lot beefier and you're going to take bigger chunks out. So it might be a little tougher to achieve the same kind of look. So I'm running a 12 inch bar on my 200 battery powered saw with 43 gauge chain. We're going to do most of the work with that. We'll also be busting out the die grinders with some specific bits to uh, do the eyes and a little bit of detail work. So be sure you're watching for those, uh, for those bits and what I'm using. Now I will have links in the description down below this video to all the tools or similar tools to what I'm using. You guys purchase through those links to help support the channel. Along with that, I'll have Instagram and social media and all that other great stuff you guys can check out and follow me through. Whew, boy, all right, I'm done talking. I'm gonna turn on that other camera finish getting my gear on and uh let's make an owl all right guys we got our log in here and uh you know i'm gonna try to walk you through the cuts the best i can but hopefully the uh the view will uh do all the talking for me now the goal is to carve an owl up like this guy okay that is the plan the first thing i would like to do is round there we go. Round where the back of the head's going to be. Now, looking at this piece, I also got to turn it. Hold on. Now, looking at this piece, I got a good bend in it. The plan is to put the back of the head here and have the face of the owl here with the wings and the tail coming down the back. So, let's round the back of that head. Okay, now he's got those tufts, right? He's got those tufts on top of his head. Kind of want to scoop in and be able to like scoop it out a little. You do have to be careful if that chain catches right, it might come flying off. So you know what? Kind of do a shallow wedge cut. So you're going to kind of come in at an angle, come in at an angle, pop it out. We can clean it up after. Okay, let's define those tufts. Now I am going in and pulling out and down. See, it's kind of shallow right there. Cut to your line. Okay, see I even overcut, it happens. It's almost like making a bear head. Now what I want to do though, is cut underneath it. are 
our tufts. Cutting that front piece right off. Now I want to narrow these back. So we got to clean up back here and clean up that front, kind of narrowing these in. See the sides of this one? Kind of narrow in. So, I kind of like to figure out where the, the eyebrows and the nose are going to be. You know, like the eyebrows and the beak, down like that. To be honest guys owls are not something i do a ton of they're really not um as usual the more you practice the better y'all get though right same goes for me so i want them to have a rounded face so that's the next thing i'm going to focus on Cuts are not super deep, okay? I'm just kind of cutting in. Hopefully you guys can see pretty good. We're just rounding the face. I want to go through and start removing some material from the side. Okay, so like this cheek sticks up way too far, so we gotta bring that down a little. Now what I wanna do is start coming in from the side and removing material like this. hard edge and hone in the beak. that 
Now we need to cut this way, cut this way for the beak. I got more meat over here than I would like, but I want those feathers to look kind of fluffed up, like fluffed out. So we're gonna come from this side, kind of shape it around. Okay. Bring that right across underneath. It's kind of like he's got his neck all puffy. So we need to trim this down here and swoop it out because this is going to be the back with that back tail and we'll have a front wing here. Let's figure out where this wing's gonna be, which will be kind of just under that head some. So wing line and then tail line. Now we can go in more of a, a straight cut, but the blade will be sideways or the bar and remove this material, making this flush this way. We'll do the same over here, kind of like a wedge cut. Boy, carving these frozen pieces is kind of a pain in the butt. Now this is where you want to be careful. So I only do one side of the owl. I only do one wing on one side and I do the feathers across the back, but I don't do another wing here. If you wanted to, you do that same kind of pattern on the back side. Again, it's just a, a thing I skip because these are usually a quick sale item and I'm not doing a ton of detail. Now, if it's a custom order, then we're gonna put more time into it and do more detail on the opposite side of the owl. Remember, the head is here. Okay, so it kind of separates the head and the body there. Now, if you're lucky where I'm not and the wood's not frozen and it's a fresh green piece like these, peel your bark off before you start. Minor, it, everything's frozen so I can't just peel it off. Normally fresh cut stuff, use a flathead screwdriver or the screwdriver wrench that comes with a gas saw and it just peels right off, super easy. Something else to remember guys, if you're carving green wood, it tends to be the most forgiving 
but it's also going to crack as it dries. So I've been telling you guys that in all the videos and it's just a reminder. And it's also a reminder to let your customers know that it's wood and it's probably going to crack. So I'm going to come through and lightly just remove the bark. Okay, now with his wing kind of folded, we're gonna do a line through here and do a little bit of feathering and then some longer feathers here. But we gotta finish outlining, Oop, my bad. So we're gonna end up putting a line in here to separate this part of the wing for the upper and lower part. But we need to come across and down to define the wing before we start doing feathers. from this side. okay wings defined outlined whatever you want to call it Just do some lines. Next ones we make longer. More of a more of a swooping back motion. Okay. Dust him off quick. Remember guys, this is just an idea. You don't have to make the exact same one. He already looks different than my other one. It's just, you know, this is what it is. bring those cheeks in. I don't like how high they are. Okay. Now we got to come over here and look at the back. I got to finish trimming that bark off here and kind of cut down for the tail on this side. You gotta think about those wings. Now this is where it's good for you guys to study a photo of an owl to get those tail feathers a little more perfect if you want perfection. I'm just gonna put lines in. Again, these are quick sales. This is not a super pricey piece for me. So you wanna be able to knock them out quick and get a bunch of them done. But it is good practice to learn the anatomy and, and, and honestly get better at perfecting them. It really is. By cutting up at an angle, we separate the head with a neck and a body there. And I'm gonna do up cuts from the back. Okay, see it? 
Now, all I want to do on his back is I'm just kind of going to do some swooping lines like this and fill it in to about here. I'm going to leave, I mean, with the size that I have, I'm going to leave a good two, three inches so we have the longer tail feathers. And everything's with an angle of the bar, the nose, the chain, no straight plunging, okay? And we're just gonna come in and kinda guide the nose down to the very end of the tail. Do a few this way. Like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot on the back side. Other than kind of cleaning it up. That's about it though. Now what I want to do is we'll pull the carving out and spin it around so the tail is sticking out. Make sure it's good and secure. Now we want to make him have a little more of a three-dimensional look like he's sitting on a perch. So you want to be able to plunge cut in and not cut your tail and kind of plunge cut in and come down so you come out below the tail on the other side. Finish your cut. Clean it up. And you can round the log so it looks more rounded, not just like a straight cut. Get, you know put your initials in there somewhere whether it's on the side or the bottom or the back let's spin him back around quick if you guys want to see how to do this setup here with these blocks of wood i'll have that video popping up just a nice little uh upgrade to your jaw horse so you're not hitting your hitting your bar on that metal so here's our owl right i think i'm going to be done with the saw work for now. And uh, I'm gonna grab some power tools, give you guys a closer look and start cleaning them up. All right guys, so this is where videos get tricky because I'm gonna try to hold the camera and carve, but we're gonna be using the cross cutter bit from Sabretooth to do some nice big eyes in here. This is the three quarter inch bit with a quarter inch shaft in my die grinder. So we're gonna just go in here and kind of cut these eyes out. All right, eyes are cut. Now I'm going to take a flame bit from Sabretooth, the coarse bit. This is the quarter inch shaft, quarter inch bit. We're going to go ahead and kind of clean it up and add what looks like feathers to the face. And then you can clean up whatever edges with this that you want.
All right, so you got like these feathers we cleaned up around the eyes. Let me dust them off quick. Whew, it's cold out here today. I wanna come in and kinda clean that beak up. So kinda round the beak over, separate it here just a little bit. I made mine a little too narrow. I cut it in too far, but it'll be all right. You know, you guys have a little more control because you'll be using two hands on here. I'm trying to get you guys a good close shot and I kind of went in here a little too far. Um, what I'm gonna do is finish cleaning them up really quick and then we'll come back and you guys can get a nice walk around look. I just cleaned his face up really quick. Kind of a little bit of details there, the eyes and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and take that cross cutter bit though and I'm gonna do some kind of weird cuts in here with it to kind of make like some more feathers on his chest. Now you guys can go back to that quarter inch shaft, quarter inch flame burr, come in just underneath and kind of clean it up so they have a swooping look. All right, that's it. We got our feathers on the back here. He's done. I'm done carving on him. With owls, you guys can go ahead and take like a torch and hit it and it'll see like your lines will be more defined. This piece, it might not work the way I hope because it's very, very green and frozen. And that makes all the difference. So like this piece will go in the shop with a couple others. It'll dry out for a few days before I finish them up. Right, guys so the torch really brings out some of that detail work we did and uh yeah there it is an owl for our mini carving series so our owl is done here he is so you guys could check him out a little closer inspection all right if you got a good dry piece that flame and everything will really add to the detail and then you guys can hit it with a brush you know brush off all the soot and stuff put a clear coat on him and he, he'll be done if you want you can always paint and things like that but there's a, a pretty basic owl. That's the concept. You can spend as more, you know, as much or as little time as you want on it. But keep in mind, you know, how big is he, right? How much are you gonna make in selling it? 
it's, it's those are kind of things you guys got to factor out you know when i get this guy fully done and detailed i'll probably put 50 60 bucks on him that's probably where uh that's where i'll be so you know maybe 65 it, it it's all going to depend on what he looks like as a finished piece and how much more detail work i i really put in there so things to keep in mind as you guys are carving and getting going um this will not be the last video for the mini carving series I'm told we have Valentine's Day coming up, so we're probably gonna do a uh, tutorial, mini carving tutorial, Valentine's Day idea. I've got at least one, maybe two, and then uh, I've also got another idea for something small and quick we can carve. Not sure how good of a seller they are. I've never made any of those things for that, that other one, but just kind of a idea that I had. It should be fun, fun little carving, so. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. Enjoy some videos popping up. Check out the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.